So what you're seeing right now, think of it about double over there. Double. Uh, back behind that wall, we have some modern things that help us with the museum. So things like a furnace to help keep the whole place warm mm -hmm. and a consistent heat things like that. Um, but down here is kind of the smaller version of, of what we would show you. Um, what were these walls made out of? Mostly stone. Actually stone? all stone. Just painted over it. Sometimes and what, stone. cement? Or what would they use to glue it together? Uh, it's like cement, yeah. It's um, different recipes, different times. Um, basically, it's usually just mud. <laughs> yeah, mud. Yeah. <laughs> Cow manure. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes horse hair and things like that too. Huh. Yeah. Um, so one thing you'll notice is see how this wall here juts out? Yeah. That there is the foundation for the open hearth that we were talking about upstairs. Foundation. Yeah, so that's how we know the open hearth is right there. Yeah. So the open hearth was right here? Yeah, so the stove is right there as well. Yeah. Oh, the stove we just came from? Yeah, so right up here well, is where well, Let's see how this works. Oh yeah, this is the stove. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what is a hearth finally? I, I thought it was like a fireplace in the middle of the house or? Well, uh, you can, a hearth, a couple different ways you can talk about a hearth. Uh -huh. A hearth is actually um, the hearth stone, but we've just simplified it. The hearth stone is kind of the transition stone from your fireplace to your living space. All right. So it's that stone that gets nice and warm. A lot of people sit on the hearth stone, things like that. But a hearth, when we use that term loosely, would be a big open fireplace. Yeah. Big open fireplace, yeah. right? Yeah. But it had like a hole in the roof with a yeah. tunnel, like it was a chimney? It had a big, yeah, big built-in enclosed. It's basically an open with things on the side, um, scooping up the smoke to let it go up the, up the top. But it'd be open all around circular? Uh, except for the two sides. So you'd have a big open, but it, you can walk right into it, basically. All right. Yeah. These are real potatoes? Yes, and uh, they shouldn't look like this. Um, we Why not? We, <laughs> well, this is supposed to be a good way to keep your potatoes. Now, these are perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, we could take these potatoes and throw them in the ground, and they will grow new potato plants. That's actually what they're doing right now. Hmm. Um, but this is a great way, if done properly, of storing potatoes so that they don't do this. So I grew up on a potato farm in the, in the um, Algonquin Park area, huh. and uh, this is how we kept our potatoes. And as long as you... So once they're good from the field, you bring them in, into something like this? Yeah, put them in a big pile of dirt, basically. And uh, you take the potatoes from the top, so the ones that are getting the most light when the doors are open, you're eating anyway. Now, the main reason why they're kept in the basement is because that door would almost always be shut. Okay. Um, it would be dark. So yeah, it's dark, and so they wouldn't grow like this. But That's again, because of the light. You got it. Yeah. Light, and just because potatoes want to do that naturally. I mean, they are a seed. So. All right. Got you. So they're seeds. That's what they are. Yeah. Potatoes oh, yeah. are seeds. Yeah. Just watch your head. <laughs> yeah. They're nice, soft seeds, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll become very mushy very quickly. And what are those things? These wagon... Oh, this, this thing here is actually a contraption uh, for making rope, believe it or not. Making rope. Yeah. So they have to make their own rope, too. Nice. And they were drinking beer or wine? Uh, actually, a little bit of everything. So, wine was... Uh, <laughs> see, when you talk about Mennonite families, it's difficult. Um, because 